Tip nine, leverage display advertising. I know this is kind of like a redheaded stepchild of the digital marketing world, but if done correctly, uh, it could be a very powerful supplement to your search efforts and can be a very powerful component in your overall digital marketing um, kind of approach and strategy. Um, so there are really four main ways to do display advertising. The first is behavioral. Um, inside of Google Ads, there are these neat targeting options, um, two of which are included here. Custom intent audiences and in-market audiences um, that are tailored towards a specific topic. So in the screenshot that we included over to the right, uh, these are what Google calls in-market audiences. These are, um, this targeting bucket will serve ads to users and customers who have been actively searching for home purchase loans and have sort of expressed that intent in their search history. So that's a neat little bucket that you can just sort of um, tick off and market to almost immediately right off the bat. Um, so that's a pretty useful feature to be cognizant of. The other part of this is just contextual. This is similar to in-market audiences. Um, so it's just, you can define, you can look through the categories and topics that are listed under either Google or Facebook and target that way. The third way is location-based. Um, obviously, if you know that there are certain patterns among your audiences, let's say they're bi-coastal, uh, you could target west and east, the west coast and the east coast, and kind of skip over the you know the flyover states if that's something that is relevant for you, or if um, you tend to do better in areas that um, are you know uh, higher income, you can target specific zips as well. And lastly, site specific targeting is exactly like what it's. It, like what it sounds. Uh, this is where you kind of cherry pick individual sites, uh, forums, blogs that your users tend to hang out on or, or engage in and uh, just serve your display ads on those very sites uh, themselves. So this is the most manual approach, but it also, when done well and properly, can you know, offer really good ROI. Um, the other point is just make sure your ads and banners are compelling and original and definitely please stay away from any broad targeting methods. We've seen clients uh, have a display mark, a display campaign, uh, that leverages, let's say Google's, you know, smart display capabilities, which basically is another way of saying, you know, allow Google to have carte blanche at how they pick different placements and it, the story almost always um, ends badly. <laughs> so just a, a little warning about that. Tip nine continued. Um, another aspect of display that's very powerful is remarketing. These are like the ads that follow you. Um, anyone who's had any experience with the internet is probably well aware of them. Uh, Amazon does a lot of this. So if you, you know, shop the particular product and then you notice it following you around everywhere on the web. This is what that is. Um, that's part of the overall kind of display universe. So remarketing is a very powerful tool and it definitely helps uh, improve that conversion rate uh, across the account. Make sure you have a compelling message. Again, um, the image is very important. So I, I would say definitely spend the time, energy, and resources to make sure that the images are as, as good and as compelling as possible. I would recommend a lot of sort of A-B testing here to make sure that you are you know, presenting uh, the right image to your user. Uh, make sure you have a call to action. This is similar to what we uh, referenced and alluded to with the search uh, campaigns, but it's also relevant for the display universe as well. Um, definitely experiment with different formats. You can see some of the main formats presented here on the left side. Uh, together, these cover over 90% of the total available impressions on Google Display Network. So these are going to be your main ones. And then lastly, of course, listen to the data.